Hey guys, Melinda here. I just wanted to come in and give a quick update today on my day three and how it went. As you saw from my video yesterday, I was pretty weak and um, not just not feeling great. So I do feel a lot better today. I was still a little bit lightheaded when I when I got out of bed, but you just need to get out of bed slowly and and, and you'll be fine. So. I don't feel as weak today. I knew that day three would, dates two and three are probably the hardest. So I got through that and now I'm on day four. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my results from yesterday. And so I'm down another 2.6 pounds from yesterday. So a total of 7.2 pounds for the three days. And I had 110 ounces of water. Um, I did also um, mention yesterday that I took a tablespoon of the flax meal. I don't know if it helped. I really don't know that it helped. Um, but I also took a tablespoon of MCT oil, which I did again this morning, just the MCT oil. I didn't sleep very well last night. I had taken an Excedrin late in the afternoon because I had a low grade headache for about two days and I just, I was at work and I decided I'm just gonna take, I just took one where I would normally take two. So I couldn't sleep I think from the caffeine in the Excedrin. So I only got five hours and 24 minutes of sleep, but I do feel a lot better today than I did yesterday, even though I'm lacking sleep. So I will try, tonight I have my group, small group Bible study, so I may not be able to get a full eight hours, but I will try, I'm probably gonna go to bed as soon as I get home. So I didn't move very much yesterday. I got 2,920 steps, according to my Fitbit. I did take a detox bath when I got home and I used Epsom salt and I put in some a relaxation blend of essential oils and I added some lime. I also added a little bit of the lime to my final bottle of water and that was recommended to me from a friend who deals with essential oils. And it was pretty good. It wasn't, um, it was just a nice change from plain water. I took, last night I took my normal two teaspoons of natural calm. I may stop doing that. It does tend to have a laxative effect. And so when you're not eating and you don't have a lot of waste left in your system, then it just kind of makes my stomach rumble and feel like I have to go to the bathroom. But, you know, I mean a little bit, sorry, TMI might come out, but it's just, I don't think it's necessary with the sea salt that I'm using in my water. So I'll probably not do that tonight and see how it goes. I did start using more of my Morton light salt because it has potassium in it and I was experiencing some leg cramps yesterday. So, um, and that, that helped. I, I believe that really helped. I didn't have any more after I used that a couple of times. My blood pressure yesterday morning, as in most mornings, was, was good. It was 124 over 76. However, in the evening, it was up to 158 over 101. So not better than the day before. We'll just see how this goes by the end of this. Um, what else do I want to tell you? I was very emotional yesterday, and if you know me at all, you know I'm kind of a sensitive person anyway. Like things like the Vegas tragedy make me cry anyway, but it was just a lot of different things happening, and I just went in the bathroom at work and I just cried. And I think it was, it, it definitely was more, because normally I wouldn't do that at work. I would just, at home, I might shed a few tears, but I really, um, I don't know. I just felt really emotional, and there were several things going on with friends who were having anniversaries of 
situations that were hard for them to deal with on top of the whole Vegas tragedy. So it was just a difficult day for me all around. I was weak. I was emotional. And I'm glad that I got through that day. There were some, um, the last two days at work, there have been, I work for a Japanese company. So if one of our expats goes over and comes back, they'll bring treats. And I always like to try the treats because they're different and we can't get them here. So um, they had something different that I haven't tried before. They had some uh, different flavored milk chocolate, or I don't know if they were milk chocolate or not, but they were chocolate bars. And um, so those were kind of like, man, I want to try one of those. And I thought about taking one and keeping it for when I'm done, but I didn't. And now they're gone. So that's good. I, I, cause when I'm done with this fast, I don't want to get back on that. Well, a little bit, a little bit of this or that won't hurt me because it in fact does hurt me because it turns back on that sugar monster, which I just need to stay away from it altogether. So anyway, I'm feeling a lot better today and I'm still, for, I'm on day four. I'm about three and a half days in, so 10 and a half to go. And a friend had asked me before I started if I was nervous and I said no, and I honestly meant no. I was not nervous. Um, I'm a little nervous now because it's only been three and a half days and I'm about a quarter of the way through. Um, but hopefully this will be the turning point and I'll feel better from here. Planning to meet my daughter at the gym tonight. I'll take it easy, probably just walk for half an hour and then I'll be, I'll be good to go. But um, that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell so you'll be notified every time I leave an update. Also, if you like this video, let me know and leave a comment below. And again, I just thank you for um, listening to my experience with this 14-day fast. So I'll be back tomorrow to give another update. Thank you.